I'm between you and a coffee break, yeah? Correct. So in that regard, see, I'm trying to see how many people are awake. You really need a coffee break. Um, because I'm the, I'm the in between you and the coffee break and then the rest of the conference, I'll tell you up front, I'm going to be fairly brief. Although I've been asked to speak about our strategy, and so what I'll do is quickly give you some key actions that we did in 2019, and then I'll just go over the results of 2019. I'll share with you what our target is for 2020, and then how we are continuing to execute this strategy in 2020 to achieve the targets. In 2019, we made a few changes in uh, how we do business. And in that regard, we have established, oh boy, I'm going to go to see from here. In April 2019, we launched the new Curacao.com. We also launched a new Curacao television ad uh, within a 30 second commercial. Actually, we did three commercials. 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and uh, it was 20. We refreshed uh, our branding, and we sort of had a new look. You know, of course, we launched the Feel It For Yourself campaign. And we set up at headquarters a global marketing department that serves the world. We also added some new team members to that department. And in doing that, we changed the emphasis of the people who used to be called sales and marketing managers. They are now called regional managers because their focus is on the distribution system in each region. What do I mean by that? The regional managers concentrate on working with the trade, as in travel agents, etc. They also concentrate on working with tour operators, OTAs, and airlines, airline tour operators, the distribution system, generating sales for the destination. That's what the regional managers now do, and that's another change that we made in 2019. We developed also a new and unified look and feel for our trade shows in 2020 and beyond, and we've done that for all markets. We executed unique out-of-the-box projects and brand partnerships that help showcase the Feel For Yourself brand message. Some uh, examples of that, the Anna Hickman collaboration in Brazil. Uh, I'm sure you saw a release in the local press where we made her uh, an ambassador for Brazil for the tourism sector. Anna Hickman is just amazing. She's a celebrity and an entrepreneur in Brazil and uh, she loves uh, Curacao, and she's done many things for us, including developing a clothing line called Blue Curacao. And so the Anne Hickman collaboration is one of the things we've done. The Voy Pro Team, which is a video production in Colombia. Actually, it was filmed uh, right here in Curacao. NBC's First Look production, BuzzFeed's social media features, and our carousel themed mural in Wynwood, Miami. Of course, you noticed the last we were all in the North American market. Now, those were the sort of uh, key things that we did in 2019. What were the results of 2019? Overall, our stayover visitors grew 7%. We had a total of 463. 685 still visitors. That 7% equates to 31,974 additional still visitors. Our regional market performance that produced those 463,685 visitors. North America, which grew 2%, uh, produced 96,000 of them, and I'll just say here, 
that North America only grew 2% because uh, in the fall, as Jim pointed out, the entire Caribbean had problems in terms of arrivals from the US market specifically. And in our case, we were particularly badly affected because we depend on American Airlines pretty much for the arrivals from the US. And when you go from two to one flight a day from Miami, that reduces your yield 50%. And uh, that really affected us September, October, and November. Um, and our other carrier from the US at the time also stayed out of the market September, October, and the first week of November. The result was North America. As a matter of fact, early in the fall, I was projecting that we may see a decline from the United States. We ended up growing slightly, we grew 1% I think from the United States. Uh, so we were happy that we actually recovered that much to at least equate 2018. And that's because a number of the flights came back in December 2019. And uh, we also had the introduction of United Airlines in December. 2019. Uh, South America was flat, and that's because, of course, there was massive collapse from Venezuela, and that's because, of course, the border was closed in February <coughs> of 2019, and so the rest of the year was just a write-off for Venezuela. The Caribbean, on the other hand, grew 24%, Europe grew 10%, and uh, the rest of the world grew 8%. The focus markets for 2019 are the markets that produce the business. The, the, the Netherlands, of course, our main market, that grew 10%. The USA, 1%, as I mentioned before. Colombia grew 28%. And I should mention here that we were agile in the market, and so when the Venezuelan market collapsed. We aggressively uh, promoted in Colombia, Brazil, and some other South American territories, and uh, that is why we were able to at least grow overall, and we were able to keep South America flat by virtue of Colombia and Brazil growing uh, and some others in the region. Canada was up 4%. Germany was up 12%, Aruba had a slight decline of 2%, Brazil up 2%, and Suriname was up 7% in 2019. For 2020, we're targeting to go over the half a million mark in still visitors for the first time. Our target for 2020 is 506,000 visitors. 506,500 stable visitors, which will be a 9% increase over 2019. The regional expectation, we're expecting to grow 12% in North America, 13% in South America, 10% from the Caribbean, only 6% from Europe, but of course it's our biggest market, so you can well understand a 6% will in fact be still the number of people, and the rest of the world we're expecting 22% growth. Our marketing strategies for 2020 will be pretty much similar to what we executed in 2019. We will, of course, be tightening and or targeting and uh, we'll be applying behavioral targeting where possible as we go through business. I need not remind you that the traditional way of advertising